Call if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Are we live? Is this thing working? This is super exciting. Four concurrent viewers on a test stream. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and record too, just in case. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, we're testing out a mobile live streaming rig with FPV drones. Let me, uh, I guess I'll, I'll bring the camera closer. As soon as I see that someone can see me, I'll show you what we've got going on. And let me know if the audio is loud enough. I don't know if my audio setting is loud enough. Come on, chat. Talk to me. All right, we can record it for, for post date later. Okay, so we're doing a test stream of a mobile live streaming rig. This is a custom, let me show you closer. Let me bring you closer. We've got an ATEM in a case, all right? This is uh, capable of doing eight channels, video inputs. Um, we're going to be using, um, I've configured this Raspberry Pi with Digiview. You can see Digiview on my channel six input. So Digiview is gonna be capturing the output via USB of these DJI V2 goggles, all right? From this ProTech 35 if everything goes right. So, I'm gonna put you back here. I wish there was some chat. I can't tell if there's any chat or not. There's a chat rate of six, but I gotta add on my own video. Oh, I see people in the chat. What the heck? Okay, I'm just gonna pause that playback. We can hear you. It's great. Perfect. Master Poopy, gotcha. Eric's in the chat. Let's go. Audio is good. I can hear your truck and your jacket moving yeah sorry um, I'm using a power inverter to power the box because it's just you know a standard plug um, so I want to keep the Jeep running just so we don't kill the battery well what's up Diablo all right let's let's get to testing I guess I gotta look at the iPad for chat so I'll just lay that there. What's up, Amy? We're here, I can hear and see you nights. All right, good, now we're gonna get to the good stuff. So I'm gonna try and switch. I have a picture in picture set up, but I don't know. I don't know if you would prefer a picture in picture. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Welcome to OpenTX. Hi. 
throttle warning. Okay. YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Alright, you guys let me know if the stream starts to look like poo poo. I am streaming from a mobile phone, so one of the perks of uh, using the ATEM setup is you can plug in your phone and it uses your phone as a mobile hotspot. So that's how we're streaming right now. I don't know if it would be better if my phone was like outside the car or not, but. Um, Let's see, cord cause buffering. Eh, maybe it'll level out. Looks like it's sending properly, but you guys tell me. How. This is a test, all right? We're just testing. I get a video feed then I can plug the USB so that the protocol is for this setup you can't plug in the USB from your goggles into the Pi until you're receiving video from the drone or else it'll bug out I guess what's up Bob so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in boom we got drone feed Don't see. Let's go. There's you guys. All right. If you uh, get motion sick or lazy, now is probably the time to maybe close your eyes. All right. So I'm just going to do a test flight real quick and see how far we can go. If we get breakup, uh, the whole purpose of this is to see if there are any anomalies with the video feed. from the drone. Let's go. I, I pointed my camera angle down earlier too. So in order for me to go fast, I gotta kinda look at the ground. Otherwise, my uh, standoffs are in the shot. And I thought that would be poopy. Little morning, well, afternoon, evening stroll. I'll probably have to make myself a uh, TPU offset so I can bring the camera more forward in the drone. That way I can tilt it up. How's it looking so far? Good, good video? Bad video? Oh, we got company. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So let me land real quick because I want to try out this picture in picture. It's so weird not having the camera angle up at all. Video quality is good. Holy, this is awesome. Works really good. Nice. Yeah, there is a little bit of latency, um, but it's really low, and it's surprisingly low considering that it's going through this. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi using DigiView. Um, I got a Mavic 3, and I was really stoked because we did a gig 
for uh, Lost Lands where we were flying around FPV drones through the crowd, but we were throwing the signal from our V2 goggles through a RC, not the RC Pro, I think it's the RC DJI Smart Controller. It's like the version one, but the Smart Controller doesn't, the new Smart Controller, the RC Pro, doesn't pick up the V2 goggle feed. And I was really disappointed because that controller is like $1,200 and I wanted it to be able to send a Mavic feed and be able to also send an FPV feed, but it doesn't. Uh, so that's kind of disappointing. So this is the workaround to use a Raspberry Pi to capture the signal through the V2 goggles. And it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous because the Raspberry Pi, I think altogether maybe only costs less than a hundred dollars. Um, but the device I bought to specifically do that was $1,200 <laughs> and it doesn't. <laughs> so, you know, live and learn. Uh, let me change my camera angle a little bit. I'll show you. And we'll do a little picture in picture so you can see both at the same time. I mean, it looks like it looks like it's coming through pretty decent. I'm also really excited because DJI just announced a new uh, O3 air unit, which is going to change the game on visual quality on board these drones, while also having onboard recording, so we can record onto the drone 4K60. I don't want to scare those people. Uh, we can record onto the drone at 4K60 while if you're using the new uh, goggles too, you'll be able to receive 1080p video feed into uh, those new goggles. Which is freaking awesome. I still have full signal out here. Look how far we are from starting. It's pretty sick, huh? I probably could have went to a better place to stream, but... I just wanted to come out and get it tested. You know, a little blockiness. But how cool is this, right? We can be able to go anywhere Put this situation up, do some live streaming. We're flying around with the boys. You guys can come with us while we hit some mad gaps, right? I'm afraid to go under there. My goggles are tilted. I'm stoked. I'm so stoked. I feel like it's working just fine. You tell me though. Are we doing good? Good feed? 
ideally we would probably invest in uh, like a mobile hotspot there are some devices I think it's called the live use solo where you can bond two different like USB sticks so you're taking two different cellular carriers like AT&T or Verizon you can put them into the same box and it will choose the best signal or bond the two signals to make a really strong signal and you won't have to be worried about like using a cellular connection or I don't know my data will probably suffer from this but the goal is to be able to set up anywhere specifically for a concert event with a sub 250 and do some epic FPV capture uh, I know we had such fun time doing it at Lost Lands it was like that's the target I want to be able to fly FPV over crowds and stuff which is perfectly legal by the way that's a class 1 aircraft um, yeah it works I'm stoked I'm stoked. All right, I'm gonna uh, take this back to the studio and watch the footage back and see how good the transmission was. But well, thank you guys for tuning in to the test. You wanna hit this?